Ladies and gentlemen, the votes are in, and with a stunning 86% of the Electoral College, write in candidate Undertale, which is a video game and not a human person, will be the next president of the United States. To reiterate, a non-sentient piece of software is now the leader of the free world. Undertale's first act as president will be the adoption of a 28th Amendment, which states briefly, anime is real. This is the best day of my life! Undertale, who is a video game that literally everyone loves and nobody doesn't, then went on to their second act as president, making it mandatory that all Americans date skeletons. Never mind, this is the best day of my life! In an unprecedented foreign policy achievement, Undertale has brokered peace across the entirety of the Middle East. Both Democrats and Republicans have praised the peace deal, though to be real, most of them are just stoked on their sexy new skeleton lovers. However, President Undertale's day in the sun was nearly cut short when allegations of a prostitution scandal surfaced mere hours ago. Photos of the president being played by a handsome male prostitute recently spread across the internet, and voters had this to say. I don't really think it's that big of a deal. I mean, if anything, I'm jealous of the prostitute. I hear Undertale has got it going on. Today, President Undertale heads to Dallas, where they are rumored to deliver their new plan on a pacifism-only attitude toward military intervention. Oh my god! The president is down! This is the a breach! The president breach. is down! Who could do such a thing? Who could do such a thing?